How's it going, Savage Life family? Taking a look at Afria today, an amazing company here. And as you all know, they're going with a merger with Tilray. So in the future, once the merger is finalized, this Afria is going to transition to the symbol TLRY and it's going to be uh, known as Tilray. Okay, so Afria CEO Erwin Simon hopes to see marijuana fully legalized in the United States within the next two to three years. And whenever that happens and marijuana is fully legalized, we're going to see an explosion of all these cannabis stocks. Now, Afria sitting at this $19 price point level, after dropping down to the highs of $28, $29, due to, of course, the hype just fading away from the cannabis stocks and the market being red overall. Now, uh, Afria at the current moment is at an attractive price point regardless of what analysts are saying with this stock but we'll go ahead and hop into that before that i just wanted to explain that afria's revenue soared 33 percent year over year and also delivered its seventh consecutive quarter of increasing positive adjusted earnings before interest taxes and depreciation so earnings have been great for the company and on top of that the merger with tilray will create the biggest cannabis producer by sales in the world now the ceo was interviewed on cnbc and what he said was there's a lot of unknown about what will happen in the u.s due to the pandemic shutdowns quarantines and all that's been going on but they'll have the balance sheet they'll have the knowledge they'll have the brands they'll have the technology to be able to make major impact once legalization happens so all he stated is that they're prep they're preparing when everything is fully open and fully functional and the industry market is booming as it should be once a legalization comes through these cannabis stocks will explode stocks have been rallying on the hopes of national legalization in the u.s a move that would have major implications for the companies in the industry and look at that insider trading activity in the past three months we've only had one insider buy into the company and it was at the amount of 20 million twelve thousand dollars here and it was senior officer frederick michael but no selling for afria so what does that tell you when insiders are buying into their company they truly see value in the company and a catalyst that's due to form now keep in mind this was three months ago but we have not been seeing any selling which is the complete opposite effect of what buying should lead as if you see selling in the company insiders either are selling for additional income to either go on yacht parties or are selling because their stock is currently overvalued at the moment and they're trying to rake in those profits but that's not the case here for afria now the company also will have exposure through tilray own manitoba harvest once that merger is completed and what manitoba harvest sells is hemp based foods like granola and milk on top of that afria's acquisition of sweetwater brewing company extends the company's legs even further so they have reached in terms of alcohol they have reached in terms of hemp based food they have reached in terms of all sorts of cannabis products so this company is going to be huge major and is a good choice to add it to your portfolio due to what could really come for afria now the combined company will have a leadership position in canada and in the eu afria and tilray have a great foundation and the necessary infrastructure to capitalize on what we expect to be a massive market which despite the plant being illegal under federal law as schedule one drug the u.s legal marijuana industry was estimated at 13.6 billion in 2019 with 340,000 jobs devoted to the handling of plants and that's the u.s market alone and as you all know afria tilray currently don't have their hands on the u.s market and if they're able to get their hands on and come up with a strategy to enter the u.s market and take it by storm that we're going to see a huge catalyst for afria but keep in mind that is for the long-term investors that's for individuals who plan on holding on to afria for more than five years and here is a quote that the man warren buffett once stated and it is if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep you will work until you die and what a way to make money while you sleep is through these long-term investments if you start now no matter what age you are just imagine your portfolio 10 times 10 years from now 
as long as you don't make these short-term fear-mongling mistakes, then you will succeed in the future. All of us will. So let's keep it pushing. So the combined company is well positioned due to the capital, expertise, cash, technology, intelligence, and brands that fall under the Afria and Tilray umbrella. And what's confusing to me is analysts here have a average price target of $15.97 for this underrated company here. Now, a majority of the time, I don't follow what analysts say. And as you see here, for the most recent analysts, they have a success rate of 45%, this John Zamparo guy, as well as this Pablo guy with a 50-50 success rate. Pretty much you're better off doing your own due diligence and seeing if Afria is a good long-term investment or not. Because the majority of the time you don't know what's pushing these analysts to come out with these reports. Maybe they have short positions within the company and, and they want the stock to drop low. So a lot could go on behind the price targets of analysts here. But on the bright side, we do see that they have buy ratings, which means they are suggesting you to buy into the company because it is at a good attractive price at these levels. Now, Pablo put a price rating for $25.70 and John put a price rating for $22.14. It's currently $19.86. So they're stating that if you buy it now and hold it for 12 months, it's going to break that pass uh, price target eventually now my price target for this company seeing as canopy growth is sitting at 35.77 dollar level now and they're currently number one in the cannabis industry once this merger goes through through afria i don't see why afria should be sitting below canopy growth when this afria tilray merger is literally going to have their legs dipped into not just the cannabis industry but alcohol as well as hemp based foods so the potential is massive for the company, as well as the EU agreements they have, how well they're doing in the Canadian market, and the potential US market is there for grabs if they're able to strategize towards a plan to enter it correctly. So that's what I think about Afria. You guys let me know what you think about this company here. It is an amazing company, and if you have any positions for Afria, as well if you're bearish towards the company, explain why in the comments, and I'd like to know as well what your thoughts are on the company and the merger so if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like subscribe and join the savage life family i'll catch you guys on the next update see ya